Moving on to the next one. This is a personal documentary. Yeah. Juna, uh, one of the earliest films that we got to see at the fest, uh, and it comes from Sierra Urich, who I think has done a couple of uh, art department jobs. Like she's worked in the industry a long right. time, and now has been able to create something here, where she's looking back at her mother mm -hmm. and her grandmother. Uh, and Juna specifically is a Farsi term of endearment. Right. And we were talking about this, bro. When they do the different font language for for titles like this, there was a couple <laughs> of other ones that were in the fest. It mops English. English yeah. looks so boring. I don't yeah. care what font you have. Ar I mean, Arabic writing oh, is basically my. like calligraphy. It's yes, yeah, yeah, it like looks it's, fantastic. Yeah. It doesn't matter uh, what the title was. Uh, this one has a very beautiful logo as well. And the story is very intimate because it's her going back, not only trying to learn a bit of her culture that because she's American, she didn't have, but it's really made up of something that I think for the most part is going to uh, make it or break it for people and how uh, connected they could be with it. Because it's really made up of the moments when they're setting up the camera. Mm -hmm. And her mom and her grandmother are making quips. It's yeah. those little moments where she's trying to get into a story, but the mom won't let her. Exactly. That's what makes a documentary. Yeah. Um, the Just because this is a, a more famous filmmaker, uh, it reminded me of uh, Chantal Ackerman's last film. Uh, the, the person who made John Dillman, but her last film was No Home Movie. And it's another film where she is doing kind of like home recordings of her mother. Okay. And, and you know, it's a, it's a certain style, right? Like similar to her style in John Dillman, there's like a very patient way that they kind of will set the camera up and let things sort of unfold. Mm -hmm. so, sometimes like you start watching a shot and like the substance of that shot doesn't really occur until a minute or two later. Yes. But like, it, it does sort of feel, like gives, gives you the feeling of like being in the room with them. Easily. And then like navigating these conversations. And like, it, particularly, this is also a film about her trying to get stories from her grandmother, you know, before she can't get these stories anymore. And part of the experience is the difficulty in getting these stories. So like, she really does put you in her feet in yeah. a way. And it might not it be the most like, rewarding, traditionally speaking, documentary, but it's a really fascinating one. Mm -hmm. uh, so Juno, put that one on your radar. Yeah.